Hi everyone, we're back on the Xbox 360 console this time. The disc tray grinds will not open and there's a disc stuck in there. As I showed you on the last video, if you go back and look at that, it makes a horrendous grinding noise when you try and open it. So, just to show you that now, I'll turn it on and you can hear the grinding. So the console boots up fine, you see go to the menus, everything. Um, probably need the pad. Which I also fixed in the last video, you'll see that working again now. With all the wires now wrapped up. See that's connected. I'll just go across to my account. You see, works perfectly fine. And now if we go to eject the disc, listen to this. Absolutely horrendous. It will not open whatever you do. This was actually my dad's Xbox. I think he's tried to prise it open and lost the front using a knife or some kind of spatula or something. I don't know whether this is a problem with the disk drive or just this particular disk, which is Minecraft, but as you can see, it will not load either. I actually think that's going to be the disk, the way that spins around in there. I won't connect, I'm going to think that it's pretty scratched up. So, for the next part of the video, we'll get it on the table and we'll try and get it apart. I know these things are a bit of a pain to get apart, so I've had one apart before. In the 360 era, when my old one had the red ring of death and I tried the towel trick which actually did work for a while but then it died again a week or so later but anyway that's a different story we'll get into the rest of this video in one second for you and a few minutes for me all right everyone we've got the 360 on the table and we're going to take it apart it's been years since I've taken all these apart and I know these back clips are a nightmare without the right tool, so I'm going to try and wing it and see where we can go. First, going to whip the hard drive out and um, I'll take this front cover off, which I think just pushes off. Yep, easily enough there. Now, let's take these two bottom covers off. I think it's easier if you take the front off and pull it. A lot of videos seem to do this bit first and they put like screwdrivers in there to get to these clips but I think if you take the front off and pull from the, pull from the front it'll come off a lot easier as you can see it's out hopefully the same will happen for this one probably won't I've said that nope so we are going to have to get uh, something in there on the clips you just put, I'm not going to go into it too much, loads of videos of this. You put something in there onto the clip and it obviously pries the clip off and pull up. So I think there's a the clip. You see, I actually pulled it a bit harder from the front, but it's starting to come. There we go, easy. See all that part is easy. Now it's getting this bit apart, which is problematic. There's a key that fits in all these tiny holes there, and it pops them all open at once, and the same with two at the end. To do it on your own, I find if you put something out, I'm using tweezers because it's got a flat end, it seems to fit in pretty nicely. You'll probably be able to hear a click. You've got to keep it prized open. So I'm using my fingers at this side to try and keep it all prized. It is really stiff, but there you go. One, two hard, and now for these two. And that was it. That was way easier than I remember, actually. Way, way easier. So now we've got to do the front. We have got to undo these clips. I believe, without trying to get the back clipping itself back together. 
probably easy to set this up. That's them too. I don't know if this has been apart before by someone. This clip's split. Which is maybe why it's easy to get in. I do not know to be honest. Is it my really old one? It can't be because it had Red Ring of Death that one. It must be one my dad maybe bought second hand or something. But anyway, now we're into the drive area. I'll try and take this top case off. If I can remember how you get this top plastic case off. Uh, can't remember if it's screwed on or not. Button just pops off. Don't want to force it. I don't know if it's screwed on. I think it's screwed on with all these screws to the top part. So I'm going to have to get a torque screw, whip through all these off. Right, so um, I'm going to plug it all back together. I'll plug it in, should I say. See if we get this working. I don't know if this is back together enough to test it or whether I'll put more things back together on it. But it should be enough holding it off. Just trying to stay out of the way of it a bit. We'll put a pad in. HDMI's in. Alright, we'll turn it on if we can. I might need a little pen or something. You can see the consoles coming on. And let's see if the drive works. I ain't got the eject button on there, have I? That could be a problem. Or try, can we do it by the pad? Open tray. It's open, let me put a disc in. I've got the scratch up Minecraft one back in. Closed tray. You can open and close the tray, you can see with the button on the top. It's probably not going to spin, I would think, without the uh, top on, but it is opening and closing. There's nothing to hold the disc in for it to spin. But so far, so good. We'll go back, put everything else together, and we'll come back and test it properly, because that looks like it might be successful. So back again, just gonna put everything back together properly, same way the young did it. So stick it on the old time lapse and I'll see you in a few. Answer is yes. Let's put the disc in. Let's close it again. You can see at the top there, closed tray. I shall try it with the button shot. Works fine. Obviously, it's not going to load because this disc is destroyed. So, um. Seems to have got jammed again. It's not making that terrible noise. It just won't open. It's like it needs a little lift. It needs a little lift to get it out. Let me just see if I've got another disc to see if the tray actually will load discs. I'm not sure if I've got any of the 360 games. Or South Park. Let's see if it will load. Let's 
So it closes and it wants to just reopen again straight away. So I'm not entirely sh too sure what's going on there. Could it be a laser problem? Guess I'm going to have to take it all apart again and carry on looking at it. So, yeah, from here, I thought that was going to be a nice, easy, good fix, that one. Just sorting the tray out, putting it back in. It looks like it's not wanting to do that. I mean, the tray's obviously working a lot better than it was, but for some reason it's not wanting to load the actual disc. Closes. Like it's not reading it. It's spitting it back out again. So from here I'm a bit stumped. I might have to research something and I'll come back to it. Right, so I'm pretty sure the problem is to do with the latching mechanism um, where that, them teeth are broken. I'm just take this out again. Maybe just push it over. See the teeth look pretty straight still, but if you watch when I push it, there it's latched in. It's opening again. But there, see it's latched in after it's gone in quite hard, it won't open. And if I just nudge this mechanism <coughs> across slightly. It will push down and reopen. But I think it maybe that goes in quite hard and pushes that right up. Then it won't go down. You see what I mean? It won't go down, which is probably why it's not reading the discs. Because when this is going back in, you see it don't come up very far at all and you can push it down and put it in a bit harder it comes all the way up it's a lot harder to open the mechanism see that it flips itself up and then you can't push it down without moving that so what makes that mechanism click in and out it has to be something on the bottom of here which I think is probably where it goes there around this corner where these teeth are battered Maybe catch it. I'm thinking this maybe isn't fixable if this is the case. I'll try and straighten them up a bit more. You see the pretty mangled. It looks like there's a couple broken off here and here as well. Clips. That seems to be better. There, it's stuck again. and take this out. If I can, again.
So you obviously that pin there runs along that track. Obviously, it either pulls it one way or the other. So yeah, when it's fully closed, it just sits in the in here. Which will be in the up position, which is there. Which would make sense. Because it's on this track here. And then once you move it back the other way. I think the likelihood is this, these pins here, or this track, with all this being mangled, and it looks like there's a couple of pins missing there, but I don't think they should matter as it runs in that track. Unless they click something on the way up to tell it what to do. Which I don't think they do, to be honest. Yeah, it's locked again. It freed up, so I decided to put it back into console and give it another test to see if it's working. Right everyone, I'm back again after spending ages just trying to get this to work better and I can't. It's just not running backwards and forwards smoothly on that track. So I think a new plastic top for the thing would make it work better. I'm just going to give it a test again now. See what it's going to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this. I would be ecstatic for someone to tell me in the comments if there is a way to actually get this working, but I don't want to spend forever trying to get this to open and close this console I'm probably not really going to use anyway. If anything, it's got worse since I've took it back apart. He just doesn't want to do anything. You can see it's even worse than it was before. doesn't want to run on its track smoothly and it keeps getting jammed in and I think it is because if it runs on that plastic it keeps jumping the little peg out of that little track that's there which makes it get stuck it's really annoying because I thought this would be an okay fault to fix Right, so I'm back on this tray again. It will open and close now perfectly fine, but it will not. Like it just goes in and then ejects itself straight away. So I've done a little bit of research and someone's saying about some micro switch down here. Be faulty. Miss a 
mind. It doesn't seem to have the same switch you were mentioning on the one I was looking at online. Still not sure that's raising enough. So there you see that that when I press open tray, it now can't open it. Push. The laser's trying to move now, it's just trying to read. It's got the open tray error. It's trying to open the tray. It's gone to that bit where it's stuck again. The problem is, is it keeps opening and closing and it's because the laser isn't rising up far enough. So when I pulled on the laser then, it started trying to read. Now, it's in the fully up position, it gets jammed and I can't take it back out. So, if you press the open button and then it's come out. So if I close it again, the laser is now working. It needed pulling up. If I open tray, But it is staying closed, which it wasn't before. It was closing, coming open. It's trying to read again now, saying open tray. I don't know if I put the cover on. It's a problem I had before, as I kept seeing, it just kept closing, opening it stuff. I pulled the laser mechanism up when it was closed and it started trying to read. So now I'm just going to put the top back on. Drop it all back in and see if it works. Let's see if it will read this Minecraft disc. Even though we know the disc is broken, closing, see it's reopening itself again. I think that's because it needs the laser. I don't know if that plastic bit on the top or this, the actual tray been broken and then pins been broken, then it's not pushing it far enough back to, re, to re, erase the laser enough for it to kick it off. So I'm just trying to slam it in a bit harder. As you can see now it's reading. Because it will have raised the laser. There you go, it's reading it. It's not lifting the laser up enough to start reading the games. You see, in and out, it's working fine now. So let's see if this will go in itself and try and read, or whether it'll kick it back out. Yeah. So give it a good bang in to late laser rises and it's reading it and it's going to boo as you can see it's booted the game
but obviously the disc tray does work and it's in a much better condition and a working state than it was before. Let's see if it'll do it itself this time. See look, it won't do it. You've got to press close and then make sure it's clicked right back in. And from there, once the laser's risen, it will work. I mean, for me personally, I would use it like this. It's an Xbox 360. I mean, how often we're gonna play it? Not very. It's perfectly usable to me, whereas before it wasn't. It's a bit annoying that it does do that. For me, it's good enough. I can't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to work any better than that. With the broken pins and things on the bottom of that CD tray, it's coming in and out nicely, so I don't really want to be taking it out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I mean, out of there, in, you know, to make it, see if it'll work properly or not. But I think I'm going to leave it like this. We'll call it a 75% fix. So I went away once more for a play, just to look at it, what I found out on the desk. And what happened was, is I was noticing when I shoved it all the way back in, it was it was more difficult to get out. And what was happening is when it was all the way back in, the little pin that is on this side that is on the track was slipping out. So what I did was shoved it all the way back in, saw the pin was out, just lifted the tray up and slipped the pin back in. So now it does click all the way back when you close it. You can see it raises all the way up and it's sliding in and out perfectly. So I've plugged it back in one more time. The disc's in, ready to go. Let's see if it will read the disc properly this time. So I've not shoved it back in hard and it's saying reading. This, and it looks like it's gonna work perfectly fine. So I said it was a 75% fix. It's a 100% fix now. I'm so happy with that, because I know I said I was gonna leave it as it was, because I'd use it, but it was annoying me, because I know it was fixable. So I went back, give it another five minutes on the table, just to try and align that pin with the tray being right back. And it looks like it's worked perfectly fine. Let's see if the game actually loads. Got crap all over the game now. There you go, it's on. See, I got the disc dirty. But yes, it's working. I'm so happy with that. I fixed the pad and this Xbox that most people have just dumped. It's working absolutely fine. So this time, for the 100% fix, hit the like, favourite and subscribe. So I think I've said about three times I'm ending this video and I finally got it working. I'm going to crack it all back together now. It's going to work perfectly, perfectly fine. Hit the start button. There we go. It's working. Yes. I'm so happy about that. Right, yes, yeah, so I just thought I'd show it all back together. Cleaned up. Obviously, it's still missing the front Xbox 360. A bit off the tray, as that is completely missing. But I just thought I'd show you it's working. Fully. Now it's all rebuilt. So I'll click the disc in. We'll hope to see a bit of South Park. I'm reading, as you can see.
And there we have it, play game. There we go, fully working. Lovely, jubbly. Absolutely ecstatic about this. Fully working. Gave up at 75%, went back for one more try. Figured out that misalignment with the pin and the laser been all the way back and lifted. And we are now with 100% working Xbox 360 and wired pad again. So if you enjoy the videos, the fixes, make sure you hit the like, favorite and subscribe for more. Peace.